It's always an electric atmosphere when the Providence College Friars and the URI Rams square off and Saturday evening was no different. A sold out Dunkin Donuts Center crowd witnessed the Friars defeat the URI Rams 59 to 50. Coach Cooley said it wasn't pretty, but he was happy with the team's defense. It was one of those games here where you, you know it's going to be a high intensity game. I don't think either team played well offensively. I was really proud of what we did defensively. This was a rock fight. It was a typical Providence College URI game. I'm really proud of our guys. And we came out with a win. Thought our crowd was great. Uh, a lot of energy there. Again, it, it wasn't a game where it was pretty, but it was a game where I thought we grew up defensively. Offensively, I got to do a better job coaching. But defensively today, I thought we, I thought we were pretty impressive. In a game that didn't have a ton of shots falling, the Friars turned to hot hands off the bench, including Isaiah Jackson, whose 13 points and nine rebounds were critical for the team. A silent assassin has been Isaiah. He's a calming influence. You know, doesn't say much, he just produces. Whether it's a free throw, a loose ball, a big three, uh, always communicating. He's our leader, does a really good job, and I'm, I'm really, really proud of him because he's definitely, uh, he's our sixth man that we can count on. Yeah, I definitely embrace the role. Um, it's been, it's something I've been in the past two or three years here, so I'm used to it and I enjoy it. Um, whatever coach asks me to do, that's what I try to do my best at. The freshmen on the team got their first taste of playing in this matchup and responded well, led by A.J. Reeves, who scored a team-high 15 points. I thought they did a good job. You know, it, this kind of wasn't our first quote-unquote uh, high-level game, you know, uh, and we played a couple before. So I think that, that really helped us with respect to their length and their speed. I thought they handled it well. I was really, I was really proud of them. Oh, yeah, you could definitely feel the energy just leading up to it. Um, I mean, I remember, you know, watching it on TV last year, coming to the game two years ago here, and being a fan in this is definitely different than actually playing in it. It's, it's totally different, but it, it's, it's so much fun. So I'm just glad I, I got to be a part of it. Next up for the Friars, they head up to Chestnut Hill Tuesday night at 7 p.m. to take on the Boston College Eagles. You can watch the game on ESPN2 or listen to it on the radio on WPRO. From the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com. All right.